Hello folks, I am back and it's Wheel Gun Wednesday for me. And I just wanted to show some products related to revolvers. Right now, what you see here is my Kimber uh, K6S. I'm gonna show clear. And this is going to be on the Smith & Wesson 686 Plus, showing clear on this. And the plus meaning that this is a seven round uh, firearm. Uh, let's start with the uh, with the Kimber. Uh, what you see here, this is a speed loader. This speed loader is the speed loader from Kimber. But if you go on the website right now, it is not going to be available. They are out of stock. So I was able to pick this up from Amazon. Uh, one thing about this is it's it's it feels like a light aluminum and you can, it's really light. It feels like it's kind of chintzy, but it does suit the purpose. Now, what I'm going to do is load these live rounds here. And for this demonstration, what I'll do is I will load the uh, cylinder, but I will not close the action because I want everything to remain safe. So I normally don't like to have live rounds around firearms when I'm filming, but I'm just going to do it uh, safely on this video. Uh, as you see, I placed those rounds in. You got to remember it's lefty loosey, righty tighty. So when you turn the knob at the bottom, it catches these rounds so the rounds won't fall out. So when you are loading this firearm, what you want to do is you want to hold it by the cap here. And you want to make sure that it's it fits pr pretty much parallel uh, to the cylinder. So you want that to be as even as possible. You're going to place that in, press in and turn. And when you turn, usually you have to be on an angle like this. So get gravity can take a hold and then your rounds will go in. So let me clear that to be safe on that end. Uh, now there is also a new product that I've, um, that I've found. It's a company called, uh, I, they're called uh, Speed uh, Bees. Now this, uh, what I, one of the problems that I was having with, uh, with this firearm is that it's hard to find a speed loader that is normal, that can accommodate seven rounds for this particular cylinder. And it, it was very hard to do. So what I'm going to do, we'll talk about this ammo in a moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another round to those that I have. And what you do with this particular speed loader, you just load these up in here. You place them in and they immediately grasp inside. So you don't have to twist anything at this point. Now they do, this company does make what they call a loading block, which is what it is, is a, it's a container of uh, rows that you just set your, your rounds into that particular tray. And what you do is you put your speed loader on top and then you'll be able to take all those rounds out all at one time kind of like a speed strip type of thing so as you see i placed those rounds in they're in secure securely and all you have to do is like i said the most important thing is you want that to be parallel because a lot of times if you're on the wrong angle your grips will get in the way as you're putting your your rounds in to, with the speed loader so what you want to do is even it up as as even as possible and you want to make sure like I said that's like I said right there you don't want to get it hung up you place that in and you just press and that's it now this is designed so that there's no twisting all you have to do is just press in and as you see there are these little uh, uh, spots right here which I call ejectors or whatnot that will push the rounds out so that that is a really good thing the last time I saw a speed loader like that I believe it was Safari Land uh, had something similar but 
not designed like that. It was the centerpiece that pushed the rounds into the cylinder. So those are a couple of uh, products that I've seen. This one is also from Amazon as well. And it's called the Speed Bees. And the model number is, is I can't even see it. Oh, 686P-07. And that means probably seven rounds. Uh, it does come in other calibers and, and, and so forth. Now, this is the tray I was mentioning earlier about that you could put that in and you use that tray to to load uh, your speed loader. Uh, it's I, I did get this off of Amazon. Uh, it, it's priced pretty reasonable for what it is. Uh, this was very cheap, but uh, this was priced pretty reasonable. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. Uh, I would recommend if you want to let let's say you're doing a lot of this at uh, at the range, maybe get two or three of these and then probably get the tray if that's what you want to do. Um, the rounds, I wanted to mention about the rounds that I'm using. Uh, these are 38 Special Plus P's, but these are the Fort Scott Munition 38 Special Plus P's. I believe it is uh, 81 grains. There's 22 box, and they're made for self-defense. These are made to tumble on impact. So if uh, this would uh, be something that maybe that you would um, don't want over penetration, you you want this to go, and it couldn't uh, for defensive measures for uh, to tumble on impact. There are some states that do not allow hollow points, so this would be a good option for you. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show was. I'm not sure, but I probably uh, mentioned this, uh, showed this before. This this particular holster, I have tested out and worn several times. I do believe I mentioned that in another video. But uh, I like leather holsters for when it comes to revolvers. Uh, but this is the Azulu, uh, Azula gun holster. Uh, this one is made for the K6. And because I was looking for holsters for this particular K6, again, the Kimber site was, they did not have any available at the time. Uh, so I sometimes when you buy a, a new firearm or whatnot, you have to go to Amazon to find something for those firearms that are either very new or for those firearms that are really odd. Uh, so I got this. This was a pretty uh, reasonable price for this. Uh, the Azulu... Um, gun holsters. They're not a new company. They're a very good leather company for what they are. I was uh, carried this and I was very comfortable with this. And good leather. Unfortunately though, this company is not an American company. I try to support American companies. And at the time when I ordered it, it I, I, I did not know that this was made in uh, South Africa. So this is where this particular holster is from. Uh, and I also ordered another one. Uh, I, this is a, this is for a 1911. So I got this for a 1911 with a rail. So it fits perfect for my Dan Wesson specialist. So other than that, uh, that's all I have for you. I just wanted to make a wheel gun Wednesday because I normally don't uh, do, uh, any reviews or I don't do much on uh, wheel guns. So with that said, happy shooting, stay safe, hashtag 2A.